it's time to go exploring with Emily Young, right here on the Veritable Quandary. Here we are! This is Emily Young exploring the forest. Hi, I'm here with Peter, and today we're going to explore the forest. Hi, Peter. Hi, Emily. Emily Young, she'll score a goal, play pretend, make a bunch of brand new friends. Learning, laughing, sharing, smiling, we'll have lots of fun with Emily Young. Have you ever been in a forest? Uh, yeah. Lots of times? Yeah. Um, once when you're on our field trip, Sarah and I... My mom wasn't on that field trip. We were looking um, for, for salamanders, and Sarah and I looked under a log, and there was a bunch of salamanders. Oh, and that's really cool. And that's what I'm hoping to find today, is that we have the chance to find a lot of animals. Where are we going to look for, in the forest for little animals? Well, we have many places where we should check out. One of the best locations happens to be under a rotting log. The forest is made up of trees, isn't it? And because the forest is made up of trees, those trees live for a long time, but eventually they do get older and they fall down. And then they Once they get on the ground, the, that tree becomes so important to many, many living organisms, whether it's a plant or an animal. So that's I don't think dandelions are very good for trees, though. You don't think the dandelion is? I, I actually like dandelions very much. Is that the tree the tree? I marvel at these because each and every little yellow part here is a single flower. So the dandelion is made up of a whole group of flowers. Stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. Can I show you some other equipment? Mm -hmm. Okay. One of the things that I think is really important when going for a walk for small animals is a magnifying glass. And of course they do fit nicely around your neck. This can help me catch it a little bit easier if we see one. And maybe a fast smell salamander. Oh, they're fast too. Uh, I've I've or, seen, or I'm getting old. Emperor. I've seen a little one of those little um, one of those little orange ones with blue or purple spots. I'm and a salamander. And one, okay, and, cool. and they're so calm that you can pick them up. And I picked up a baby. No, are you sure it was a baby? Yeah. So where it was so, it, smaller where, than the other two ones you saw. I think we're ready to go to the forest. What do you think? Sunscreen and bug spray. Well, Emily, we're now going into the forest. Do you know what kind of forest this is? Um, no. No? Well, take a look up as we're walking. Now, you notice these trees they are... They look all the same. The, many of them do because they are the same type. This is a maple forest and it's made up of mostly maple trees and the leaves are just starting to come out of their buds and beginning to grow on this nice spring day. Good thing they're maple because I'm getting thirsty for syrup. I want you to notice this here. How many petals do we have? Three. One, two, three. Three petals? How many leaves? One, One two, two, three three leaves. So its name means three. This is a white trillium. Ooh, looks good. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Watch your step as you go. Okay, Emily, let's see about, uh, why don't we select this one? Okay, I'll get a bottle ready just in case we get something. I got this bottle. Okay, you got the big bottle. So you want to roll this one over? One, two, three, let's pull it back. Oh, okay, wow. Look, you're very careful. Right there. Salamander. Now, he, that guy knows we're here. Ready? Okay, if you can. Okay, now let's put it into the jar. The, this type of salamander. I can't wait to tell my mom to tell my mom that we saw a, a salamander. Well, great. All right, let's head back. Oh boy, we got a salamander. I can't believe all the different things we found. Well, let's take a closer look at them. Here, I've got them in our bag. Okay, which one would you like to look at first? The salamander, of course. We've got it. Can you get it? I've been handling animals. 
years yeah. all my life. Good for you. Ever since so have I. I was six. So have I. There we go. It's there. It's on its nice place. Now, what color do you see on its back? Orange. Yes, it is orangey red, isn't it? And that gives it its name. Can you figure out what the name is then? Um, the red back salamander. Very good. This is a red back salamander. Why don't we take one of our small animals and we'll put it on here. Yeah, I know. Let's use our magnifiers. Thank you so much, Peter, for exploring the forest floor with me. I had so much fun. Well, you're welcome, Emily. High five. This episode is over, but the very best of my collection is banned on YouTube. To see what you have been missing, go to archive.org and search for Gyro Screw Loose, and I'll see you there.